I'm in a place called surrender. Where the Holy Ghost truly have his way. I'm in a place it's surrender. surrender. It's surrender. It's surrender. It's a place called there's a place called surrender. If you don't get to surrender, you can't serve God. You can't carry God. Only dead men carry God. You have to get to surrender. If you are not in surrender, you've not even started your journey with the Holy Ghost. You've not started. There's a place called surrender. Where you hear a voice behind you telling you which way to go. Where you turn to the right and where you turn to the left. There's a place where you know nothing. Where you know no where your wisdom becomes foolishness. Is the place called surrender. And the church is yet to get to surrender. We've boxed God too much in into a program. God is bigger than the program. He's bigger than the Sunday service. The earth can't even contain him. Hey, yeah, get it. I'm in the place called surrender. This is my favorite place. I'm in the place called surrender. Hey, I'm in the place called surrender. Hey, in the place called surrender. Where flesh gets out of the way. It is the place where flesh gets out of the way. It is the place where my thoughts get out of the way. It is the place where my wisdom gets out of the way. Is the place where my understanding gets out of the way. Is the place where my wealth ha, gets out of the way. Shagata. Is the place where my emotions get out of the way. Ha! If you are still emotional, you have a long way to go with God. God doesn't use emotions. He needs soldiers, hardcore soldiers. It is those that can tarry and that will keep tarrying until he comes into the room. It is those that will wait when he says, Wait for me. They will wait until he comes into the room. Hey, your daughter, she get a na na. I'm in the place called surrender. I'm in the place called surrender. Now think about all those things that you've not fully surrendered and begin to cast it to his throne cast it cast your crown cast everything there's no popularity in the kingdom it's all about jesus that's it it's not about you or no man so nobody has come to see me or anybody in the flyer we've come to do business with the holy ghost he's the man of the hour he's the man that sits on the throne I'm in the place. I'm in the place. Of surrender. It is the place where flesh gets out of the way. It is the place where my will gets out of the way. It is the place where my thoughts get out of the way. It is the place where my emotions get out of the way. It is the place where wisdom gets out of the way. Hey, it's the place where knowledge gets out of the way. Hey, it is the place where my will gets out of the way. Hey, it is the place where my flesh gets out of the way. Hey, it is the place where my thinking gets out of the way. I'm in the place called Suman Shagada. I'm in the place of Suman. Shake it till you hear na 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 days of surrender. I'm in the place. Hell get a hundred. Shana kote henda ya. Shake it till you hear ta ya. Hala kote henda ya. Henda ya la. 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 No, 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 no. We don't own anything. I mean the place of surrender. We don't own anything. I mean the place of We don't
never own anything. If you thought you, you own something or you, you, you have something, how come you don't take that thing with you when you die? How come nobody takes anything with them when they die? If you truly, you are the owner. We are all tenants. There's only one landlord that sits in the heavens. Hey! Hey! We don't own anything. We came naked to the world. And that's the exact way we go. There's nothing that we brought to this earth. You own nothing. You own everything. Wisdom comes from you. Breath comes from you. Everything comes from you. So what's the arrogance for? What's the pride for? What's the carrying me for? Who? He belongs to you. I'm in the place hey. of surrender. Not to run it or your head or your name. I'm in the place of surrender. Most times we are too busy. We run a schedule. And God is not even in that schedule. We run it like we own our lives. And then when the one that owns the bread demands for the breath. I mean, say, ah, of I, didn't, I didn't have time. How did you appear before your I king? Mean, the place that ah, I was busy, busy doing what? The I very mean, breath the that you breathe is for a reason. The very breath that you breathe I is mean, to the serve the Him. The very bread that lives, I tell God every day, if I don't have anything I more to do for you, the take the breath. I don't need it. I don't need it. What's the, bre- what? What's the reason for me having breath? Well, I can't use it to serve my master. There's only one reason why I live. is to serve him. And that's the reason why we all live. That's the reason for the breath within us. If you don't have a breath in you, will you have a schedule? If you don't have breath in you, will you have an agenda? Like we own our lives and then we drop dead. We say, oh God, I didn't have enough time. She didn't finish her work. No, she was too busy doing her own work. When you do the will of God, it preserves you to finish your course. And when you finish, it takes you home. You sleep in the room. And it's not death for us that we have found life. Because there's only one life. And that is Jesus, the Son of the Living God. In this thing, everybody calls life is life. How come he calls short? How come he calls short? How come he has an expiration date? If this thing that we call life is truly life, how come he has an expiration date? When you die in the hospital, when I used to work at the hospital. They said this man has expired. Expired. How can you have life? Jesus is the resurrection and the life. And no death can cut his life short. No death can cut his life short. There is a greater light and there is a smaller light. The greater light can never be overshadowed is impossible while I was praying for this meeting God showed me a lantern he took on a very big road and I'm wondering what is this lantern doing in this big road God said that is your church that lantern cannot even see from there to there that is the church that you have created he said, but I'm cutting that lantern. I'm cutting it short. I'm taking back my church. I'm taking back my church. Because we are the light of the world. A city that is set upon a hill that can never be hidden. How come we are so hidden? How come we are so hidden? That the world can even see us. The world is looking. Ah, they say that there are some people that they, they have light. Where, where are they? 
Even the Christians are looking within themselves. Where is this light? Ha shagada me, shagada. Hey, hey, gata, she gata, shagata. We are too low. We are too low. We are too low. We need to come up higher. We need to come up higher. We need to tarry in the holiest of holies. When you hear God clearly and you move under instruction, not with emotions, not with emotions. I remember when God was taking me through the wilderness. He says, I don't have emotional kids. I don't have emotional kids. I, I'm raising an army. Army. An army. You have to get to surrender. My assignment is to bring the nation to surrender. Where you sit and let God have his way. Where we don't have agenda. Where we don't have schedules. Where we don't know anything other than Jesus and him being crucified. Where we preach the kingdom, not church, not doctrines, not God doctrines. No man-made doctrines. But when we teach the kingdom of God, how can a lantern, we all know a lantern from Africa now, how can that lantern, that little lamb, shine in the whole world? It's not possible. And we have limited God to that lantern. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart to see a generation running after the things that are not even of God. They have a form of God. But the deep, the denying of his power, form of godliness, with no power. Paul said, I've not come with excellency of speech, but I've come in the demonstration of the power of God. We speak too much drama, we speak so much drama that we don't even know God. In in Jeremiah 9, 23 and 24, he says. Let him that glory it, glory because he knows me and he understands me. Let not the rich glory in his riches. Let not the wise glory in his wisdom. Let not the wealthy glory in their wealth. But if you must glory, you must glory that you know me and you understand me. That's your glory. I'm in the place God surrender. That's where we must be. I'm in the place God surrender. I'm in the place of surrender. And we go about like we own our lives. Truly, really. If you own your life, how come you can preserve it when death comes? I'll say, how come you can't tell death, death? Okay, death, hold, hold, hold on. Let, let me, let me quickly. No. When the owner of the bread comes, that's it. That's it. And that the spirit of death that has been loose in the atmosphere. If you don't know what's going on, you better know that there's a spirit of death in the horizon. And God allowed it. And God allowed it. And God allowed it. So if you must leave, 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 leave to serve him. Why are you taking breath in you when you can't use the bread to serve God? You must leave to serve him. I'm in the place of surrender. I'm in the place of surrender. Shana Gabane, the place goes surrender. 
I mean the place goes so Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I, Jesus, that you are mindful of me? What is man that you are mindful of him? What is man that you are mindful of him? You are mindful. Hey, what is man? 